Yo guys, what is going on? It makes me bring you guys back to the anime review here. Today we have Parasite the Maxim, episode 3. Episode 3. This is a very great episode. Um, I honestly think this show has won best anime of fall season. And it's very close. I wouldn't really say it's won best uh, this entire year. I think a comic got kills got that in the bag. But it's definitely won the best out of the fall season. Of course, Seven Deadly Sins is also really, really good. If you guys have not watched that, you probably should go check out the reviews and, you know, get some first opinions on that. But I it just, it's really so, it, the music is important. How they portrayed is good. Uncensoring the characters, the character development. It's just absolutely amazing. Think about it. This pathetic young boy went to school every single day, back and forth, could never talk to his crush, was always so nervous, pathetic, and weak, and pointless. The only thing he had was brains, and he was so clumsy and everything, to end up getting swamped up by some, in quote, snake, in quote, snake, ended up being a parasite, taking over his arm, but ripped up his arm so it wouldn't get to his brain, and only possessed his entire arm, and ate his entire arm whole. His arm is now dead, but it's now possessed by this parasite called Migi, and now, of course, he's going to get character development from where he was pathetic and no one, to now a badass who's strong already showed off in school beat up a bully saved a guy almost about to get his girlfriend now the girl of his dreams you know look at this look at the position where he's at look at the character development ladies and gentlemen look at that absolutely insane i'm loving izumi i'm loving izumi i'm loving him so far the opening is also amazingly badass and the ending is not half bad the osts are absolutely gorgeous i encourage you if you've not watched the show to definitely watch the show and i was narrating this like a recommendation video which is ooh, sneak peek sneak peek for friday but uh yeah yeah so as well uh let's see what's, what's going to happen let's talk about what happened in this episode so uh pretty straightforward go to school you know end up getting a new teacher right away as the episode starts he's like miggy's like all right someone's close someone nearby another one of me so it ends up being the chick we see in the art cover uh i forgot her name started as a t that's how bad i am with memory just i went to class i guess class kind of just killed it for me but i forgot her name so I, I apologize for just being so unprofessional but i forgot about her name will come back to me uh basically a new math teacher is actually a parasite as well and seems to be as though as she's actually affiliated with one of the bad guys and now we don't really know if she's a good guy or a bad guy at this point uh because there's another female in there and that's the last character we have not yet to see because we saw the other two females as well and she with the glasses she was in line she's in the uh crowd as well and the other chick with the freckles she thought that she was a hot babe I, she's not a hot babe she's not she's just a chick she's just average you know she's not really anything out of ordinary so i don't know why she was like oh i'm a hot babe too no you're not calm the helm down because no you're not um, as well as we got to figure out as well, uh, just Inazumi, Izumi really just really going at it as the girl that he liked. I forgot her name too. It's how bad I am with these names, you know. But he's, that's how bad my memory is. But he just really went at her because at first, uh, Asan will be the biggest fuckboy of the entire life. He's so immature, just pisses me off. He's like, all right, I don't like this guy. Stands up and walks out of the cafe as they were having a conversation, and they're probably going to be at least affiliates or at a standing point, a stalemate, you know. Of course, she threatens Izumi as well. She's like, all right, if you ever do anything, I want you to know that I can kill everybody in your classroom. I can kill you. I just want you to be fully aware of this. And she just broke a spoon to show him the strength, her strength. And he was just like, all right, because she's fully possessed, but she can, she has a will and she can control herself and she can control the parasite, which is pretty crazy. That just shows how much of a strong human being she was. She's also interested in human beings, doesn't eat human beings, so of course she's not going to be killing and eating human beings as well. That is Miki because Miki lives off the bloodstream and nutrients of Izumi's hand and body and blood and everything like that, so... He lives off that. It's just A. A is just such an idiot. That's how dumb he is. His, his name is the first letter of the alphabet. He's so dumb. It just makes me so mad. He makes me so mad. I hate him so much. He literally walks up into the school and she's like, oh, you fool. And Miki's like, all right, someone's nearby. I sense killing intent. And I thought it was a teacher at first because she broke the chalk. And he's like, and she's like, I thought that she got mad at, uh, at Izumi for talking about them hanging out. He's like, oh, I was nowhere. I just went out. I thought she was about, he, she like she didn't want him saying anything at all about it. Turns out she finds out that A actually breaks into the school and wants to kill Izumi. I'm just like, bro, he didn't even do anything. Calm down. I could tell he was freaking out as well. I thought he was gonna kill Izumi right there in the cafe right there, and then he probably at least should have done it there. You know, then that one chick, the math dude would have gotten a hands-on view of how strong Izumi is. But of course Izumi's strong, we just haven't seen him release it yet because everyone right now is saying he's strong. He's like Kaneki. You know, everyone knows that he's strong, but we just haven't seen it yet. So right now, like I said before, this show is really like Tokyo Ghoul. Uncensored, horror-ish kind of way. Sci-fi, kind of creepy. 
Same thing with Tokyo Ghoul and Seven Deadly Sins. Just like a comic got killed. You know, got a few little etchy here and there. Main character is just a little goofy, but serious at the same time. Knows his ideals and morals. You got to think about it. It's a lot like that. So I feel like they're always going to have shows like that, you know? And just I feel like they're always going to have shows like that. And then that one sideline show that's kind of as well, like Yuna of the Dawn. So, you know, but... Of course, he breaks into the school. He didn't want him to use uh, body parts. He didn't want him to use the crowd as a human meat shield. Because uh, Migi psychotically... Migi is just not human. So, of course, he doesn't have these human uh, human emotions. So, Migi's just going to think logically. So, of course, logically, it would be the better thing to do. But you got to add human nature to it. Then you can find a better solution. Which, Izumi actually came in and played a pretty big role on that. Putting all these chairs everywhere... Instead of using them, instead of using people as shields, he uses chairs as shields. He ended up completely blocking out A. A finds him, and then they end off there with the OST that was going on there really badass. It sounded like a hip hop remix. That's how badass it was, and I absolutely loved every moment of it. That I'm just so hyped for this. He completely shitted on what's that girl's life, too. He's like, you know what? Stay the hell away from me. Just get away. And she got like really scared. And he's like, I guess he didn't want to mess up with her. So he was like, just go to the refuge, please. And you could tell that he didn't mean it. Like as her, like leaving him alone for the rest of his life. He was actually scared and worried for her. Knowing that A would probably kill her. And he doesn't want the girl of his dreams, uh, you know, to be absolutely eaten. And I'm pretty sure they're going out now because they're holding hands and being flirty and everything. So I'm pretty sure that they are. When you see all those like color blends going on in animes you know that they feel the same way about each other you already know that's gonna be it for this review though guys if you guys enjoyed give the video a thumbs up next week there will be a top five there's gonna be a top five best fall animes i usually do that for every arc or season so yep uh with that being said guys give the video a thumbs up your support really does help the channel and see it itself and please just just it really helps out so that mean a lot to me and then let me know you follow this episode down comes you down below and with that being said, I will catch you guys later.